VMix Replay is a powerful sports production system that can be used to add four camera slow motion instant replay to any production. In this getting started video, I'll be demonstrating some of the major features of VMix Replay, including recording, playback, and slow motion control. So let's get started. To begin, start VMix and click Add Input to add one or more cameras. Then, from Add Input, select the Instant Replay tab. Select a new, empty session folder by clicking Browse and creating a new folder. This folder will hold all of the Instant Replay recordings, so a 1TB or higher SSD is recommended. Next, select a recording format. This will need to be the same format as the cameras. In this demo, the cameras have been set to 1080-59.94i. A bitrate can also be selected through this drop-down box in megabits per second. 100 is recommended for the highest possible recording quality, but a lower bitrate can be selected if there is limited disk space available. Next, select up to four cameras from the drop-down boxes. There are a number of other options available which will not be covered here. Details are available in the vMix Replay documentation on our website. Click OK to add Instant Replay to vMix. Two new inputs called A and B are now available. These can be configured to display any two cameras simultaneously. There are also a number of quick access buttons in the middle, including a record button and a cog button to go back and change settings. To open up the Instant Replay controller, click the R button down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. By default, this is docked to the main vMix window like so, but can be undocked and placed on a separate monitor by clicking the pin button. I can also resize the replay controller by dragging the divider. The basic instant replay workflow involves creating an event when something like a goal occurs and then going back and playing that event in slow motion or at full speed. To do this, we first need to make sure Instant Replay is recording by clicking the record button. As long as it is recording, we can go back to any point in the game and create new events, even if they were missed the first time around. Next, events can be created using the mark buttons here. The standard mark in and mark out buttons are available alongside 5, 10 and 20 second buttons. Here's how they work. First, wait for a goal to complete and then click the 5 second button. A new event will now appear in the list with a duration of 5 seconds. To play back this event, simply Double click the event and vMix will automatically switch to this replay and then switch back again when complete. To play back in slow motion, select a playback speed from here and then double click the event. The speed can also be adjusted during playback. Notice how only the first camera is displayed when playing an event. To change this, check one or more of these boxes next to the event. Selecting more than one at the same time will have them play back to back. The in and out points can also be adjusted by clicking the column once and then dragging the mouse left or right. 
When creating events, it is important to pay careful attention to the live button at the top of the controller. When it is red, all events are created based on what is happening live on camera. But say you want to go back and create an event of a goal that was missed. To do this, click the live button once to disable it, then drag the position bar down here to queue up an event and then use the mark in and mark out buttons to create it. Once completed, click the live button again to continue as normal. To label or tag events, right click one of the camera columns, type in the name of the event and then click enter. If you would like to create a list of tags to use beforehand, click the cog icon to open up the settings and type in one or more tags under the tags tab. Let's now create a couple more events before continuing. To play back multiple events at once or create a highlight reel, click one or more events in the list and then select play events. You can also optionally choose to loop playback and add background music by toggling one of these two buttons. A music file can be selected by clicking the cog icon and then browsing for the file under the music tab. For fine tuned control over slow motion and playback, vMix Replay supports the Shuttle Pro version 2 controller by Contour Design. Make sure the controller is plugged in before starting vMix and it will be set up automatically. When playing events, the outer wheel can be moved to the left to slow down and to the right to speed back up again. The inner wheel can be used to pause playback and move frame by frame. To move one second at a time, hold down the bottom left button when moving the wheel. For more information about any of the topics discussed here, or for details on the many other features available in vMix Replay, visit the website at www.vmixreplay.com and click the documentation button. Mm -hmm.